All right, let's look at how to use um, Doom Emacs. So you've installed it. Hopefully you've watched that video already. Now we're going to move on to moving around. Now, Doom Emacs is configured with a evil mode, which is using the Vim key bindings. So you're not, you can use the arrow keys to move around. That's, that's fine. You can do that. Um, you can move around like that. So I want to show you how to move around Doomy Max and how to get used to using the Vim key binding. So to move around in Emacs, it is you're using the J K H L to move around. That's how you move around. That seems really counterintuitive. Why not just use the arrow keys to move around? And the reason why is because this is all on the home row. So if you're using like a touch typist, you got your fingers on the home row. This makes it much easier to move around. Um, and yes, it takes maybe a little while to learn, but as soon as you learn it, oh, it is it is so, so nice. So let's start with um, learning how to use, um, or do, let's do the uh, tutor mode. So Doomy Max does not come with Evil Tutor. Uh, Space Max does, I believe. So I'll show you how to install that. So to install things, you hit space and then you hit the colon and then you type in package. And you see the package install, see that option right there, just hit enter. And then now there's a list of packages on the ELPA, which is our, just a bunch of packages to install things. So you want to install the evil, which is evil. And then you don't have to do the hyphen there, but evil tutor. So I already have evil tutor installed. There's the evil tutor, uh, Japanese style. So don't install that. I'm going to exit out of that, but it's already installed on mine. So I hit space, colon, and then I type in um, evil tutor mode. Oh, sorry, evil tutor. Start. That's the one you want to do. So you're going to get to this page. And let me just blow this up for us just to use so you can see that a little better. And let me maybe increase that to there. So <clears throat> this is going to show you how to use evil mode when you're using your uh, how to get around. So this is one of those things that you're going to have to read it and walk through it. So this is how you work through it. And um, you feel stuck. You can switch to Emacs state. I guess you can do that. I don't know what, what's helpful there. But then you have the Emacs normal mode, which is what we're going to use. So let's move down by pressing J. And you begin to learn to do it. Now, I'm not going to jump through this with you the whole time because just go ahead and do it maybe a few times. It does say it takes about 25 to 30 minutes to complete. But you're going to learn a lot about how to use evil mode. Now, how it works, just to kind of give you a, maybe the philosophy is, is that there are two different states of evil mode. One state is the the editing state where you can move around the text with JKL. Now, it's not typing out JKL on my screen here because we're in the editing state. To do that, you press I, and that gets you into insert mode. And then when you press JK, oh, J and K, you begin to insert, and you can start to type with that. To get out of it, there's several ways to get out of this insert mode here, and I just did it there. Um, it is pressing JK in rapid succession, and I'll get you. So I'm in insert, type, type, type. JK, I'm out. Or you can hit Control G. So I'm in insert mode. Oops, <laughs> insert mode. And then Control G. I get out of insert mode. Or insert mode and escape button will get you out of insert mode. That's how you get in and out of it and you move around. So the idea is, let's say I wanted to delete this line here. Um, you hit insert. And you can hit backspace. Although, as you learn Vim, you realize that you're not going to use that all that much as you're doing it, but um, that's how you'll learn to do it. And then um, one of the ways you'll learn to delete stuff without getting into insert mode is just hitting X and that deletes a line or del deletes a word. And then uh, D, D deletes a line, U undoes it. Um, and you learn all those kind of things to, to mess with. And the reason why this is so helpful is because as you learn evil mode, you're not going to be using your keyboard all that or you're not going to be using your mouse all that much to type with. You're just going to be using your keyboard, which is where you want to go. Now, this is kind of a boring way to learn it, um, but I don't think it's a problem that it's too boring. I think as you go through it, it gives you some lessons on how to move around 
and it's uh, all done, uh, I think, very well. But if you want to take it a step further, you can do the uh, Vim Adventures. So here's a website that is really fun. I've done this website, and there's another one that I've done before, and it's going to show you how to use Vim while playing a game. Now, this is only a... Uh, demo of the game and so it's going to take you only so far but you can buy the game i think it's like 25 bucks to learn it i didn't buy the game but i do like this because as you play uh you use the vim key bindings and it shows you some of the stuff that you're learning and so <laughs> it's a little fun little game so you'll learn to move through with these keys and at first it will be really frustrating to move through things but as you learn and get through this you'll start to go oh there we go and then honestly now vim key bindings are second nature to me as far as how i move through uh, my files and uh, if i'm going to use a different program so like some i use like different types of bible software and Sometimes they'll come with uh, Vim key bindings, and I'm like, oh, wow, that's great to go to different chapters. Or even like my e-reader that I have on here is has, uh, I believe it has, I could find file. Well, then, um, man, we won't do that for right now. But it'll have, uh, just get used to um, moving around in um, in this, and then you'll begin to be able to check out stuff. And so that's really what I want you to learn how to do is just learn how to move around the text, edit text. And next time what we'll jump into is getting down to different files and how to configure things, how to make it what you want to use. And we'll get, we'll get there. But for right now, learning that is really important because if you don't know how to move around, when you go to the next part was we're going to like just some uh, for the next video, you're going to get stuck and you're going to get frustrated and you're not going to be using the right keys to do it. You'll be just using your mouse and you'll be using your arrow keys and you want to go back to Emacs mode. But believe me, if you just push through and you take some time and you push through the awkwardness of using the JKHL, um, it'll it'll pay off and you'll begin to fly whenever you edit text. And that's, just, that's what I love about it. There's so many cool things I want to show you, but I just want to leave it there for right now. So that's, that's what we're going to do. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.